I'm Vinny Lagozio, and welcome back to another DIY prop shop. You're gonna use thermoplastic, aren't you? A little bit. So today we're gonna be working on Harley Quinn's hammer. For those of you not familiar, Harley Quinn is a recurring villain from the Batman series. Uh, actually started in Batman the Animated Series and has since worked her way into the comics, the video games, and she's also gonna be in the upcoming Suicide Squad movie. But we're really gonna focus on the hammer today. Now, this is a hammer that has seen many different styles over the years. So this thing looks like a carnival mallet. Uh, the proportions are just whacked out, and maybe that's why I like it so much. But it's usually a big log on top of a tiny little handle. Uh, so we're gonna be learning to make some wood grain textures. Uh, we'll be wrapping it in metal bands towards the ends. We'll carve something funny into each face, and then we'll also talk about how to make this sturdy enough so you can swing it around a little bit. So before we start getting fancy with all that detail, we're going to need to figure out the structure of this. So I've got a new material here for us. This is called sauna tube. It's used for actually pouring concrete columns. Uh, you'll see it's got that spiral pattern on the inside that you may have seen before. Today, we're gonna be using it because it's a perfect cylinder and also because it's nice and strong, it cuts really, really well, it drills very well, and it's also very light for how strong it is. Now for a nice sturdy handle on this hammer, I was looking around the house for something suitable and uh, I even considered murdering my poor broom, old broomy. Uh, but then I realized that you can get a dowel for about $5. So the idea is to cut this down to size. We're gonna drill two holes on center on opposite ends of our tube, insert the dowel through the tube, get a nice sturdy connection, and then we'll move on to all of our foam detail. So this is a perfect base for us to wrap with our favorite EVA foam, which is gonna really give us that nice deep grain detail. You could just paint the outside of the cylinder and make it look like a log, but to get the real character of that wood grain, I think we really wanna go in and engrave detailing on the foam. For the handle length, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that just a little bit is sticking out of the top. And for the length, um, I'm gonna eyeball it to right about here. Um, I would err on the side of making it a little bit long because um, you, you could always come back and cut this later, but uh, it's pretty hard to add it back. So let's mark this right here. Now the tricky part is gonna be marking the center holes on the sauna tube. My cutting mat has a grid on it and I'm using the intersection of those lines to put my sauna tube on center so I know that when I make a point on this point of the line and on that point, they are 180 degrees away from one another, then I can take those points and with my little combination square, I can transfer the line upward, find the center point of those two lines and those will be our holes to drill through. Once you've got your pilot holes drilled, we can use a spade bit to match the diameter of the dowel and drill into our sonic tube. When we're figuring out the placement of the hammerhead on the handle, we want to make sure we leave enough room so that it's not only sticking out of the barrel, remember we're also going to wrap with that EVA foam, so leave yourself a little extra space. Something like that. Good. I'm gonna go over those seams just a little bit with hot glue to hold everything in. Because this is such a large area, I'd like to use contact cement to cover it, um, but that takes about a half hour to dry, and uh, in the process of it drying, it might not be super tacky yet. So, to get it started, I'm gonna put just a little line of hot glue on the edges. We'll start from one end, we'll apply some contact cement, wrap it all around, do that for both sides. So 
we're just about dried up here with our two halves of EVA foam. I'm going to now trace the outer circle onto yet another piece of EVA foam for our end caps. Now that the barrel is just about dry, we can get to the fun stuff, which is drawing in wood grain and carving it in. Time for carving. I'm gonna use a rotary tool to get into all of those grooves and carve them out. But when we're working with foam and we're drilling this away, glasses and mask are a must. One of the last things we want to do before we prime and paint are just get into this seam line here and just fill it with a little bit of spackle so it's not such an obvious straight line. One last step before priming is to get those metal bands made. So for that, we're gonna use thermoplastic, of course, and I'm going to use actually water bottle caps for the rivet detail. So that's our edge. We're gonna line this up, bring this over. Something like that. Just a little dollop of hot glue on the inside of a cap. Then we can lay that down onto the marks that we've made. Now how often do you get to spend a nice afternoon in the backyard painting the hammer? So we are all primed with black and uh, I've gotten a couple really good suggestions about how to do texturing right. Um, the black color, when you lay that down first, that really lets you get down into all of these grooves and cracks and we're gonna let those stay dark while we brush over the top of them with a different color. So I've got a couple different shades of brown and beige to you know make this look like a log. You'll notice that we cut down the bristles on this longer end brush, and this is because when we want to go over some of the really deep cracks, a longer bristle might want to work its way down into those, but you know, keeping it short like that, that should just let it skim over the top, and then you won't fill in the, the nice dark surfaces that you just created. And once we're done with all of the dry brushing on the log, we'll move on to the banding, and then Harley Quinn's painted uh, funny jokes on the ends. All right, after much paint detailing, we can now add some grip to the handle. I'm gonna start right about here, maybe as my highest point, work my way down the edge, create some mass down at the bottom, we're good to go. So we are done. That was a ton of fun to make, and uh, I hope you had a good time watching it. We learned a lot about wood detailing, and uh, even more about how to layer in that painting to really bring out that grain texture. If you've got any ideas of what we should make next time, send an email to DIYPropShop at break.com or leave a comment below. And send us your creations as well, because we'd love to see what you've made. Anyway, I'm Vinny Lagozio. I'll see you next time. <laughs>